Hey guys, Archie Luxury, how are you guys today? How are you guys today? Guys, 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 how are you going today? Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. The Tanzeal, 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 uh, Tanzeal, the man just sent me a message. I'll just see what I can do with my Tan, the man. Guys, today we're talking Rolex inflation, inflation on luxury goods. Now, guys, I'm just going to invite the crew on. If you're a crew member, Marco, uh, James, uh, JJ, Lacoud, Lolex, Rolex, jump on the stream now. We will we'll, we'll, we'll chat this. Guys, guys, luxury inflation. Many luxury goods makers out there. They're putting their prices up. They're putting their prices up. J. Wright, two pounds, AC3, the true king of horology, horological YouTube. Great vid. Thank you. Thank you. How are you, Marco, today? Talk to me, the Marco, the man. Tell me, the Marco man, how are you? All's well, Arch. How are you? Hey, I'm okay. I'm okay indeed there. What's going on? Talk to me. What's happening today? The markets are sinking fast and furious, Arch. The markets are sinking fast. Okay. Yeah. Yep. We're supposed to be in the roaring 20s. It's more like the melting 20s. <laughs> oh, look, I got out. I got out at Christmas time. I thought it, I thought it was too hot. Okay. And I I missed it. I missed it, but hey, who knows? Um, I can tell you one thing, Rolex ain't going down. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I mean, luxury goods historically have never been a good hedge. Oh, we got JB. Who's JB? He's a cool guy. He's from Portugal, I believe. Hey, JB. Or, hold on. Oh, he's the doctor. Doctor, give me Is the he? flu. Oh, it might yeah. be a different JB. Okay. I don't know. I've got my finger on the remove button just in case. Sorry. Yeah, I think we just remove him. That's <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, All right. look, I want to ask you, tell me what you think of this luxury goods inflation. It seems to me that luxury goods in the last five years have really soared in value. We've apparently got 2% inflation. Inflation is very low, right. um, but I'm not seeing that in the luxury goods space. What do you think? Tell me. Yeah, no, it's definitely not 2% and it's definitely not 2% in the luxury goods space either. But Art, do you think luxury goods are a good hedge for a downturn in the market? Hey man, I tell you what, just gear up. Luxury goods is the only hedge I would be making. Luxury goods, luxury good man. And the best thing is if the market crashes, you can be surrounded by things that you really love. Yeah. You know the what I mean? The world goes to shit. You got Rolex on the wrist, right? You got Rolex on the wrist. Right. And, uh, yeah. Maybe yeah. a couple of paddocks spring in, sprinkled into the mix, right? That's exactly right there. What's... what? Uh, I just want to say to you, man. Is that Tanzia? Tell him to come on, Arch. Yeah, I'm just, just, just texting him now. He's a great guy, you know that? He's cool, Arch. I got nothing against the guy until he wanted to get me booted off. Can't come on, he says. Okay, I'll go. I'm out in the Lambo. <laughs> Here we go. M36 speed. Sleepy Joe tearing, steering us towards an iceberg. Yeah, it's going to be a bad one, boys. I think it's time to gear up. This is not going to be uh, your one-month market crash where the market rebounds in a couple of months. That's exactly it. Are I'm cashed up, waiting to buy. Waiting to buy what? S&P 500 mainly. S&P 500? Yeah, I mostly do in index funds. Index funds. Wow. And our AMC, I'm about to be rich. Maybe I'll get that to be rich. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just praying. <laughs> Look, good. You're already very rich. 
you're right. rich in family, you're rich in youth, you're rich in so many things. You right. know, it's it's cool. Lolex, how are you, man? What's going on? How's my sound? Hey, we're talking inflation. Do you think luxury goods in the last couple of years, we got two, what was the inflation rate? Two percent or something in America? Yeah, two percent. Luxury goods is going up much faster than that. What do you think? Give me your rap. Uh, in terms of luxury goods, are you taking into account like purses and everything? Everything. Everything. You name it. Just tell me what you know about. Well, I've always attributed it it to and this is what everyone said was social media the reason why rolex and everything is so hot is because of social media now people are taking photos um oh, sharing their okay. products so i always thought it was that but you know it could be inflation loose sir five bucks papa did teach me best hedge against boring wife is smoking and hot mistress right very yeah. good advice as a hedge, you know, luxury goods, what's going on with luxury goods? Are they going up? What are they doing? Look, I tell you what, you can't even get Lolex. Jesus you can't Christ. even get Lolex. Rolex, please. Rolex. 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 I got to tell you, I've made a few videos. I got a few good videos coming out. You know what? For the average guy out there, they can't get a Submariner. They can't get an Explorer. They can't get Diddly Squat. They just can't get it. And, you know, this Instagram crowd, we see all these Daytonas, all this hot stuff. And um, I got to tell you guys, it's... Um, I got to tell you, it's crazy. Luxury goods going through the roof. There, there's Did a... you see Timepiece Gentleman is actually selling? It seems, it seems to be a $2,000 subscription to get preferential <laughs> prices in a wholesale dealer group. So they're trying to raise $2 million. They're selling these shares off at 2000 bucks a piece. I mean, just between you and me, Marco, they're hoping to get a thousand people. I mean, I've what done do luxury. Get? I've done what this do you YouTube. What do you get in this? Well, they, they give you preferential prices. Right. They'll sell you watches at wholesale bars. It doesn't, <clears throat> excuse me, it doesn't even make sense because think about it. How long will it last and how many watches are you going to be able to get? Because a thousand anybody... people, they want a thousand people to join. I mean. Right. And it's to do the renovation. That's a lot. Right. It's just to do renovations, Arch, in their store. Like, listen, we we wish him well, you know. You went yes, on his show. We support him. But yes. uh, if anything, give the $2,000 to archyluxury72 at gmail.com. It'll serve you much better. Yeah, because i got to buy that things. box. I'm trying, to, right. I'm trying to buy that box. <clears throat> By the way, Arch, I don't know if you got the email from Cars and Chrono. He submitted his collection for review. What a collection. Yes, I did. I did get that this morning actually <sighs> i gotta tell you man i gotta tell you luxury goods you know a lot of people out there they get very what do you think looks better with the white shirt subby uh, or explorer 2 just be honest what do you reckon probably the sub yeah the i think same. the explorer 2 looks better Ooh. i like the white dial what do you think white or black what do you think looks better you know actually yeah the explorer 2 they look Explorer about the two? same size. That's the funny thing, too. Explorer 2. Explorer 2 looks better. Yeah. Wowzers. Wowzers, man. Alfredo CGC, $50 Mexican. Been away for a while. Pontiff just picked up 226570 Pola today at the AD. Huge congrats on the BLNR, Marco. Wear it in Thanks. good health. Yes. I got to tell you, the new Explorer 2 wowzers, man. That is amazing. That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece. He's got the 2-2. Two, two. How can you tell the difference? Oh, I suppose it's the, the crown it's the hands, between the, Swiss and... Right. And the hands are a bit different. The hands are different even on the Polar? Yes. Yeah. They're matte black, whereas these are glossy black. Oh, okay. The, the bracelet is wider. And the, the it's biggest one mil wider. Yeah, but the biggest so difference. What size bracelet is it on an Explorer 
that it's, you're holding? It's 21, 21 or 20? I think. 21 and the new one's 22. But the biggest difference, uh, yeah. Archie, if you have them side by side, you can immediately tell which one is which. And it's because they got a hairline brushing going around the bezel. And it, it just makes the bezel pop like nothing else. So you can immediately tell which one is Gen 1, Gen 2. By the way, Tim, just your audio is in your computer. Shit. Yes, yes, yes. Amateur. Wow, amazing stuff. Um, there we go. Six M3, six speed, five bucks. Great state of the collection by Watch Cardinal today. Mm. Sub and GMT, what more does a man need? I've got Sea Dweller 4000 and Black Black GMT, Man on the Moon, and President Warn Far Less. Wow. That's a good point. I got to say, yeah. yeah, I did see the watch. Um, by the way, can I say something quickly? I was thank looking you. around. Thank you, 36 feet, by the way. Sorry? No, I just want to say thank you for watching the vid. So thank please. you. Um, did you see, you know, that guy, Uptick Watches, the French guy in Hong he Kong? He sold his Lanka. Oh, was... my God! <laughs> I can't believe it, Arch. I know. I, I was I, wondering because he did a state of the collection. I was like, what the fuck? Where'd the Lanka go, right? Yeah. And then he made a yeah. vid. I was like, no! Oh, my God. What happened? I don't understand. Uh, Why would he had, he... A, he had a big tax bill he had to pay, Arch. He said, he said, he said. Yeah. I didn't know they paid tax in Hong Kong. Um, must have Weird. been a pretty big tax bill. <laughs> yeah, well, I, you, you've, yeah, it's fair, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. But right. <clears throat> I got to be honest with you. That was, oh. But he's got paddocks, Arch. I mean, like, you know what, I, like, he doesn't have a... He doesn't have money problems? Yeah, he doesn't. No, but he doesn't need the longo. I mean, he's got two beautiful paddocks. He's got that travel time that you like. Remember, you wanted that travel time as payment for for joining Watchbox. Yes. Remember? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do remember. And he actually. has the five two nine six R, the sector dial, Teletrava. Yep, that is a beautiful watch. It's Absolutely. <laughs> Burbing hard. How are you? Good. How are you doing, Arch? Guys, I want to Burbing hard. I want to ask you because you've recently bought a watch in the last space last couple of months do you think luxury goods inflation is it hitting or not tell me the truth inflation the official official inflation rate is un just under two percent yeah it's bs uh <laughs> you don't it's yeah it, 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 it is the, it the, is the, the inflation rate of a subsidized basket of goods that the government now nah, that's not it's not real inflation y yeah <clears throat> way higher yeah okay so you know, I'm just saying the official inflation rate for 2020 was 1.25. For 2019, 1.85. Uh, 2018, 2.44. Um, now, I'll just have a look at the Canadian rate. Is Maybe it's a Canadian thing. What do you think? No, our, our inflation rate is similar, but it doesn't even make sense, Arch. Canadian I mean rate is uh, 2020 is 0 0.72. And last year it was 1.95. Oh, do you know what? Oh, anyways, it's fine. And I got to be honest with you. If we look at the Australian official inflation rate, it's uh, 0 0.87 for 2020. 2019, 1.61. Now, the thing I'm asking you is, you're a bit of a luxury goods person, Burbing Hard. I is this bullshit? That. What I is it? I wouldn't. No, but you you bought a few things. You, 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 yeah. What's happening is the is is there inflation or what's happening? Well, but I think I think they're they're good hedges against inflation. So because the funny thing is, you know, I've had a few tutors, right? Yeah, and I bought some with big discount before for. It was in the threes, threes, th mid mid to mid to high threes. Then when I bought another one, I paid four four. This is Aussie dollars. That's like Canadian dollars. Yeah. Um, it's going up. That's that's like. 10%, over 10%, 10%, okay, on luxury goods. The luxury goods inflation rate in my country, all cars are selling at retail. Some cars are selling over. We've never, this, I haven't seen this for years. What do you think? Yet the basket of goods and the uh, consumer price. Wages aren't going up. 
even wages are going up, I think, more than the one to two percent. Okay. Okay. That's why that's why I don't think that uh the See, the, I just do YouTube. I've always had low income, you know, low income. <laughs> low income. You live in the dream, Arch. Live in the dream. But I think the normal the normal basket of goods that's measured in the consumer price indexes, yeah, those aren't going up substantially. Like my a cost of a loaf of bread hasn't hasn't gone up drastically because a lot of governments are subsidizing those things. Um, whereas things like, like Rolexes, that stuff's not, that stuff's not calculated in a CPI. Mm. So these other things that are shooting up very high. It, so it, I just don't think that the CPI is a, is an accurate number anymore. Right. Oh, you don't think CPI is an accurate <clears throat> number. You don't trust your government. What are you saying? No, or I think it's just, it's understanding the, 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 the methodology that they're using right 100%. so it's it's just saying yeah that according to this basket of goods of of the things that you might need yeah that's not you know maybe that's not something that's going up substantially but that doesn't buy you a rolex so if you're <laughs> wanting to get things like vehicles or luxury goods or even even purchasing homes it, it's not reflective of of the the cpi numbers I mean, even just at that, Burbank Heart, our inflation rate is 0.8%. They calculate things that they subsidize, like dairy and you know these other industries. Like the Canadian government subsidizes a lot of the in industries that are in their basket of goods, so it naturally manipulates the CPI every year. Yeah. The, the prices yeah, of homes I tend to... are, are going insane. So Arch, you can't even get a just a regular apartment. Like I'm talking about... A, a condo you know what i mean like a three and a half yeah. on the island of montreal in like a decent area for under four hundred thousand. a three and a half yeah. condo arch oh <laughs> it doesn't make sense anymore arch i don't know what yeah, the australia to, is to give you a uh i'm just having a look here now i'm just looking at the um uh this is the i'm just putting a link i'll put a link in the comment section there this is the forbes the Forbes, it's the, the Forbes price index of luxury goods keeps pace with inflation. Now, this here was, this is a uh, actually an old article, but just, just look at some of the things. So this is an old article from 2010. Now, I just want to tell you some of the things they're talking about in here. Uh, they've got a Russian sable coat. Gucci loafers. This is this is what the rich people wear. <laughs> One year at Harvard. Two opera tickets. A kilo of caviar. Dom Perignon champagne. A Steinway and Sons grand concert grand piano. Uh, we've got a an hour with a lawyer in New York perfume we've got uh saunas we've got uh interestingly enough the price of a helicopter sikorsky helicopter a rolls royce phantom a patek philippe classic men's watch gold calatrava with an alligator strap and a hermes kelly bag a kelly okay so listen to this the Patek Philippe Classic Men's Watch in Gold, alligator strap, seventeen thousand four hundred. And, and these are these are new MSRP prices that they're tracking. They're not. This is from two thousand and ten. Okay. This is this is eleven years ago. Oh, here we go. Okay. All things economic. Plastic. Plastic. Okay. Plastic. Plastic and interest and all things economics. What's going on, man? Hey guys, Plastic Luxury reporting for Judy, sir. Yeah. Plastic, have prices gone up the last five years? Luxury goods, you've done a bit of Rolex buying, gone up, what are they doing? Official inflation rate is less than a percent last year. Tell me what your view is. Going up with the uh, trillions of dollars of uh, money that's being printed, I would say. 4% compounded yearly. Plastic, do you, do you wear the Gucci slide sandals? They're like three hundred dollars like is that no mate i wear mate i wear bungers aussie aussie flip-flops so hey 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 
flip box. I, I want to say plastic, tongs, plastic. Tongs, I got okay. a discount card yesterday. I want to show you. I've got an exclusive. Lowe's discount card. I love the Lowe's discounts. Lowe's at Lowe's. Beautiful. What do you I think of Lowe's? Lowe's too. I got one of those too, mate. I love it. Is Lowe's okay or it's not prestigious enough for you? Fuck the prestige, man. It's all about Easy. saving money to buy Lolax. Lolax, please. Here's a good point also, Arch. CAPI rose 4.2% from last year. Oh, it's from our captain. The captain. He should come on to the live stream. Yep, there we so go. The plastic captain. and the captain are a pair of economic gurus. Plastic luxury yep. economist at large. Let me say this. We're looking at a Forbes mag magazine. So 17400 Guess what, Timmy? Tim. 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 Okay. Yes. That will be a 5196 Yes. And that's now 26000 US, I think, isn't it? Guys, let's work it out. Who's got a calculator? Let's go the price of a... Um... The price of a subby in 2017, say 9,000 US, compound at 4% for five years. What are we at? Oh. Well, well, the way they're calculating the prices of, of those things, of the luxury goods. Five years. No, no, guys. So, well, the way, the way these guys calculate the price of like luxury goods, when Louis Vuitton, when they make a bag, they price it. I'm talking about based the, uh, on retail, the market how many price. People... I'm talking about the market price. Nine not the retail. times one point oh well, four compounded I mean, over five years. What I'm saying, you didn't let me finish. Yeah. I'm saying when they're when they're coming up with the price, they th this is a very calculated uh, method. I mean, they know how much people are willing to spend on it. They they know how many people are there are going to buy it before it's even sold. I mean, they they have so much information, so much data to work with. Is that Where uh, it's, it's eleven thousand? Is that what we're paying for for no date subs in in Canada? Reason, uh, uh, nine, market from nine thousand percent uh, compounding. That does that sounds high. over five years. I'm talking about market price. Market price, like what when you got to pay the piper. Not retail. Be honest, I have no idea what we're talking about right now. No, he's talking about. That that the sub no date sub has increased at a rate of greater than four percent over the last or is compounded. But we're talking about the than... over the retail price, or are we talking about the at yeah, retail? Mark, we're talking about what the market price is now, and I think that the right, high the market end, price now is stuff. like sixteen thousand, like fifteen, sixteen thousand, somewhere around there. But the price That's of the over retail than... sub is based on yeah, the the demand and the over like the, right because there's there's so much demand. That's uh, being unfulfilled. That's why the price the price goes up. But look at the price of like vintage old furniture. Nobody's buying that crap. It's worthless. Ooh, <laughs> you're so nasty. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> makes good fire. Done the just... team. <laughs> so so what what price did you put in there? Ten thousand dollars, right? No, nine thousand. You said nine thousand dollars. See, right. th this is where it gets tricky. Is that um, the problem is, is that what about if you, um, are you looking at the retail price or you look at the secondary market? Because the retail price and secondary market, you can't buy them, can you? Scarcity. No, is, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So that's, that's, the, that's where it gets the, a bit tricky. Market, they're, they're a hedge. They become a hedge against inflation in the, um, in the secondary market, the hot demand stuff. Exactly. So, you know, to that 9,000 five years later is actually 11,000. Yeah, you're right. He's right. He is right. Marco's. And I know how to use a calculator. He, Thank you. To, he does know how to use it. <laughs> it, 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 it it's actually $10,989. But hey, right. let's, Basically let's not 11, be. Now, and what's 10 the years price later. For no sub? Now, what's the market price for no date sub uh, in the US? A 40 15. mil. 15,000 Canadian, 16,000. Yeah, see, that's about right. Yeah, that's yeah. 15,000. Yeah. Is really? I paid 14, but it's because obviously Bear hooked me up. Oh, that's a yeah. real hedge that's now, isn't it? And that's pretty much US. where the US dollar is at. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of money, really. It's, it's crazy times we live living, guys. It's yep. crazy times we live in. Crazy, right, Lola? Yeah, it's nuts. Making me think about selling it. No. Yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't. The thing is, but 
you know what? Can I tell Dirty. you something, guys? Plastic, I got you on the show. Can I tell you something, Plastic? I want to make a confession to yeah, you buddy. quickly. Confess okay, so, to me, my, so my son. Confess I got to me, all my the child. paddock. I got all the paddocks in the bank safe. Four paddocks in the bank safe. I've got my JJ Lukut. It's in the bank safe. I've got my tuna in the bank safe. And I've also got the Speedy. The man on the moon. Man on the moon's in the bank safe. Yep. All I got is three Rolex. Sub, Explorer, mm. Millie. You know what? Perfect. You know what? Perfect three-piece combo buster. Meal, meal, meal deal. If I wasn't making YouTube... I reckon hang on to those three watches and maybe the reverso because it's sentimental. It's engraved, I wouldn't isn't it? Need it. Games, it? Yeah. I wouldn't even need any more than those four. Really? The tuna? Uh, you don't need the tuna. The speedy? Uh, nah. I reckon those three Rolexes, Sub, Explorer 2, and well, a Millie. Mate. What more do you want? In China. The speedy's made in China. We don't, mate, we, we don't want a chai, except for Ming. We like Ming, apparently. But, um, right. you know, the speedy's made in China. So Malaysia, but, but I'm saying, Malaysia. you know what? If I wasn't doing YouTube, I reckon three Rolex is all... That's <laughs> way same, more same than thing. anyone needs, don't you think? That's all you that's need. Two, two Rolexes that, that anyone needs. Yeah. That's it. That's right. 100%. Or, what do you think about uh, one watch for Rolex? All I needs is one Rolex, Sorry? really. What do you think about one watch for Brad? Or is it just Rolex? It's a great Rolex way to thing? lose money, Marco. Being there, done that. Uh, I think, I think this, I've think got to be honest with you. One watch per brand is actually interesting because it makes you think. Does that include what two size really... citizen Casio? <laughs> well, they don't count. But, you know, I think one watch, one watch per brand can be a great way because you're picking up the icons of each brand. Right, like a Pam, a Showcase. Show, showcase watches rolex hype has made watches currency and an international a, a, an investment class avoid all this bull and just buy what you can afford to lose guys that's right you then avoid all york, these worries listen from new york to hong kong luxury goods are gone through the roof and that's plastic luxury reporting for judy sir sir there we go. What a, <laughs> I got to tell you, man, he's right. Hey, Plastic, when can we do lunch? Because you're piking on the 20th, 20th right? 20th. Yeah. I, I, was, I got another appointment that day. That's right. Sorry. I got something. We'll What's do it. We'll reschedule. For? What's your point for? We'll reschedule. What's we'll your reschedule. Point for? If you need a doctor, I'm getting my... a good vet. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I got to so tell good. you. You know what? Oh, by the way, plastic. I did a. I did the figures. The figures are in. A friend of mine. He got a Pepsi from an AD. Yep. You know how much he's had to yep. spend. I'm 250, thinking two hundred and fifty nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I was close. That's quarter crazy. of a mil. That's crazy. And you know what they said to you him? If you want a panda, you know what you need to spend. You know what you need to spend to get a panda. Half a mil. What's that? Half a mil. Half a million. 500,000. upon it. A brand new ceramic panda. Yep. Is 50 grand on the Aussie forums. That's nuts. I know. That's I know. Nuts. Tip. Doesn't mean they're getting it, but okay. That's what they're asking. Doesn't is that ceramic? Mean... Is that ceramic bezel really worth $17,000 more than my steel bezel? Well, the steel Daytona? one's gone up too. I think the steel one's gone up too. Has it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every... A rising Sydney tide. Man. Everything rises. Tim yeah. S, five bucks. AC3. Which Rolex model would you have if doing one watch per brand today? I got to tell you, seriously, <clears throat> I would say one watch per brand. Oh, this, this is really hard. You know what? In probably my case, sub. yeah, I'd go the Actually, sub. you probably have to do the Polar Arch. The Polar is your watch. Milgauss, no way. Come on. No, Can I'd I say, you know what? Guys? I'd say if one watch per brand for Rolex, this is Marco. Mm. Listen, Marco, you'll love this. Marco, you'll love this. One, one Rolex per brand or one watch per brand. I would go the back girl. You'll love that. You got a back girl, uh, haven't you? I, that's, that's, that's the ultimate that's watch. It. If you're going to have one watch, I think so too. Mm. But what about the Daytona plastic? I like your Daytona also. I don't have one. But Ben Clooney did a great video on one. You got the a Bear Daytona? Did a great video on the back girl. You no, don't you have, have a Panda. Daytona. You Me. still got a Daytona. Yeah, I've got the black doll um, steel. Steel. Wesley, what's what's wrong with that? That's, that's I love that one sweet and spot. Done too, no? no, I love it. Two I love it. Sweet yeah, spot. the Wesley. But yeah, I love the Bruce Wayne. I got to be honest, dude. 
I think it's the best watch Rolex. Yeah, made. the Batgirl is good. I love the Batgirl. Batgirl. Juco cool Ted, Batgirl, five man. bucks. I'm two tone date just 41 and 36 and still no call for. Yeah, you're not spending enough, man. That's right. That's no when. That, that doesn't get you anything now, man. That's that's twelve months ago. That's so twelve months ago. That's so pre-COVID. He's better off. Mm. He's better off playing I was, the piper. Just play the piper. Pre-COVID, that got me uh, a no date sub, and that I was very lucky to get that. Now, no, you gotta drop way more money. You gotta drop serious money. <laughs> I mean, art is it even? Is it even worth it AD buying games. from AD? Seriously, guys, find, yeah, a good, it's not even worth it. find a good dealer and stop playing AD yeah. games. It's crazy. 100%. Well, it depends where you are, too, because there's certain ADs that'll work with you in smaller areas. Yeah, not in Australia, mate. In Australia, they hold us to ransom. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> 100%, man. 100%. Um... Bear Clooney, it's happy birthday, Bear. It's getting harder and harder to get Rolex from AD. Hmm. Bear, uh, I just want to say, Bear, plastic. your back, your back your video is inspiration. I love that. I love that watch. Plastic. Well, Duco Ted also is in a big market. He's in the US, Arch. You know what hmm. I mean? Like plastic. he's in the US and he can't even get Rolex. So have people you... saying it depends the market or the AD. Ask yeah. The no. Duco, Any Duco's joy at Langford's plastic with you? Any joy never, at Langford's? Never, never, never. Look, yeah, no. Look, I love Langford's for the service when you got to get a watch serviced and all that sort of jazz, you know. But when you're looking to buy, a watch, they wouldn't even give me a catalog. Um, you know that? They gave they me a wouldn't. catalog. Yeah, they gave me a catalog. There you go. They wouldn't Ooh. even give me. By the way, you know my mill out gals that came from Langford's. Oh, nice! I've got a couple of Aussie it's stock ones too. I think I've got a couple of I've got a couple of mine from Langfords, and one came from Jay Farron Price in South Australia. So it's good to get ah, Aussie stock if you can, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of cool. It doesn't, you know. What? That's showcase watches too, Pat. You could avoid all this worry and buy Omega. Yeah, China. I have those bracelets made in China that I just prefer to go Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. By the way, Birmingham, it looks like we're sitting in the same room. Hmm. It's like the light. It's just oh, like yeah. the bookshelves book meet up. The bookshelves meet yeah. up. Look. Stay me just... off the weed. Listen, I've got hey. to listen. <laughs> pon it. Pon it. Pon it. I'm yes. just finishing my tea break. I've got to go back to work, mate. Okay, this is man. plastic See you later. luxury signing out. Yeah, you take care, you man. Take care, plus. My Ooh, plastic. Okay. I I got to tell you guys, um, it's it, it ain't. Look, you know what? The thing is, you, everyone's a friend of mine said to me, and exp, he, got, he got shitty. Okay, he invested in Polar forty twos. He want he investing in Explorer two forty twos, black and white, right? Like before the release. <laughs> yeah, and then okay. they didn't really go anywhere. So now he says to me, he's shitty. He goes, you know, Explorer two, it's a nothing watch. That's what he said to me. Mm -hmm. I said, what do you mean? It's a nothing watch. That's one of the greatest watches in the the range. It's it's not under the, the greatest. Sorry, it's not the greatest. It's yeah, if not the greatest, genius. Probably the best and, bang for buck Rolex. And I actually. mean, you could say that about any Rolex. Mm. They're nothing. They're nothing, right? Rolex cannot compete against Horology, Padex, or Langes, or FP Jones. Do not but even they don't want to compete against yeah. that. It's the utilitarian. You can just use it that's the whole point of these things do, so do you think that rolex is still trying to move up market though i mean more precious metal releases i thought they're pretty up market now how stone. much more up market can they get than they already are they're up well, market but, rolex is up market isn't it but but they're not a, but, but they're not a paddock though so are they are they continuing to try the to problem just like is, up that the more up market you go injury. the market shrinks you know, there's less potential buyers. Like if you're selling, if you're selling cars, then you sell Mercedes Benz, then you go Rolls Royce, then you go Pagani, then you oh, what do you got? I mean, this the market is so small. You know, there's only so many people can afford this stuff. So, mm. I think Rolex themselves there, they've always had gold and precious metal. They're not really making more. It's just that the demand is so high they found 
like this perfect area where to maximize mm. profit. Because if you go too high, there's not enough people buying the stuff. If you go exactly. too low, then mass people are too poor. They can't afford it. They found just the perfect niche. Yeah, but I think so calculated. Gonna increase prices? I thought Rolls was increasing prices here. Every chance they get. Can you right. blame they're them? Increase them? No, I think they're going to increase them shortly, actually. That's what I heard. Every Because the thing is, I what... I what, I don't know. The, o- the other reason why they'll increase prices is because the cost of labor and the commodities, mm-hmm. gold, is going up. These are very, very, very... You know, Rolex is the largest industrial user of gold in Switzerland. Damn. And they own their own foundries, too. Exactly. I mean, it's mm. basically, it's a fire. It's a fire. Fire in the hole. We have to I mean, the way seriously. Duco Ted, $2. New gold Zenith Chrono Master Sport is calling me. Oh, be careful. Be careful. Beautiful. Not a retail. Watch. Not a retail. Better not be calling it retail, right? Please, not a retail. Just, just here over. We go. Sorry, Toyota Mo, 10 bucks. Super chat, you nasty, vicious fikers. Trolling fikers always here in the chat and bring nothing to the show. You know who you are. We love Toyota Mo. <laughs> so just a couple of weeks ago, they had their, uh, like annually, they, they put out these uh, these brand recognition surveys, like the most trusted companies mm. in the world. Mm. Um, and this, this worldwide survey, and, and Rolex was number two. In the, the world? Most trusted brand, Ooh. yeah. 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 Who was first? Apple? Le- Lego, actually. Lego? What the Ooh. fuck? Yeah. Fer- Ferrari was third. Wow. Oh. Lego. Rolex number two. Rolex. Wow. Guys, invest in Lego. Invest, invest in, in Lego. Rolex. That's where that's the hedge. That's the hedge against uh inflation. I don't I don't know that they're that they, they hold the their Dude, used values are as good as they're expensive for kids' toys, though. Yeah. Dang it. They're not Jeez. for kids because they're not for they're kids. Not they're for grown men. They're for grown men who wear Rolex. I think their boxes usually say like seven to ninety nine or something. Exactly. It's it's towards mm. that ninety nine. No kid can can afford Lego. Get the Chinese knockoff ones. Get it, Lego. Then it doesn't fit. Then it doesn't work with your normal set. You know that. Yeah. Right. You know what yeah, I they mean. Don't work. Let's go Lego it's shopping. A, it's a bummer, <laughs> you know. Mm. It's. Mm. Um, have you know have you guys say. ever tried <laughs> stepping on a Lego? Oh, it's the worst thing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, awesome. it is pretty bad. <laughs> I used to love Lego as a kid. You know that. Archie, you should invest in some Legos. Uh, look, you, you know what? The funny thing is, like Tim says, certain things are very collectible and valuable. Certain things are just worthless, like um, vintage lamps and s- like like certain th- and vases. Like antique furniture used to be so valuable. Now, because the houses are generally smaller, <laughs> see. And then you've got. You know those roll top desks that I wanted oh. one so badly. Now they they're no good because you got to put cables for your computer in that in them. You you, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> it's completely outdated. Here we go, <laughs> Richard Sos, five bucks. <laughs> the cow who jumped over the moon in the nursery rhyme stepped on a Lego brick. <laughs> By the way, I got I've, I'm catching up with some of the the um, the paid reviews. They're coming out very. I'm doing. I'm I'm catching up. I'm catching up. I just uh, they're coming through. So I gotta be honest with you. There, the um, the whole wristwatch market. Someone said this to me. Do you think it could ever end? This hobby could it ever go quiet? Like every anything is possible, I suppose, isn't it? What do you think? Just like those cables that that you know, just like that furniture. If there's no demand, like if there were influencers buying up yeah. vintage furniture and kind of teaching people how to well, which you know which drill to use, you know, to mm. put the cables through, mm. then there would be demand. 
But because nobody is nobody in their right mind at least is buying mm. this crap. That's why there's no demand. Now there's hype for Rolex crap. because there's That's all these big. YouTubers spruking it. Buy, buy, buy. Get Rolex. And that's why. Hey, Tim, what watches I, do you own? Can I can I just show yeah. you a picture very quickly? I want to show it, baby. you a picture. Spruik it. Spruik it. Make the value go up. I'm spruiking it because it makes the the value of my watches go up. It's nah, a good I'm idea. Just, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This but, I can sell the no it's the truth. For, uh, it's, the truth. VC it's a history. circle jerk, it's everybody. Hey, circle I, I just want to. I just came across a interesting. I want to share a screen with you. Just hang on yes. there. Uh, LA Meth Witch, two dollars. Enjoying the stream, fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want to bring this up to, just to show you this screen here. What do you See. think of this? Ooh, Louis Vuitton, Louis on Vuitton, the Mercedes, Mercedes Pagoda SL. Look at that. He's got oh, the because the Dedicale? suitcase won't fit in the boot. Believe you me, I've had <laughs> one of these cars. You cannot fit nothing in the boot. But look at that. He's got the suitcase strapped to the special. What wow. a cool way to go, don't you think? That's amazing. She knows what that she's is doing. Cool. That wow, is cool. Wow, that is so cool. I just thought I'd, I'd bring that to your attention. There, Reg, two dollars. Which watch reviews made you the most angry? Oh, that's a good question. I gotta be honest with you. I think the watch reviews were. I get a bit upset when somebody just wants all the popular stuff. That kind of annoys me, mm. you know. Yes. I also get upset when they 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 bog. Okay, so 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 all the trendy stuff. They don't really have a love for the brand. They just want the cool, the cool bits. And as soon as it's not cool, they want it out. That makes me disappointed. Um, the other thing is, is that when people you look at their collection and they've wasted so much money on mid-tier garbage, you know, yeah. and you think, you know, if you hadn't have bought all this crap, you could have got something decent, mm. you know, like a Ming, for example, you know, that's kind yeah. of the garbage that you could get stuck with, you know, no, it's, no, that's it's, not garbage. Those, those Salida <laughs> movements, man. Yes, Alita, Arch, yeah. can I tell you something? You know what's my favorite review you've ever done? What's is that? This rich banker wanker. Remember the banker wanker review? Oh, yeah. it was golden. Yeah, that I gotta, gold I gotta tell you, seriously, I like people like Birmingham. Got a lousy 5%. <laughs> oh, <it's> yes. Awesome. <laughs> I like people like Birmingham there. <laughs> I, I, and, and one of the ones I hate, I had this guy... Who sent me bloody twenty dollars? He's asking me, does he get the gold day date forty, or does he get a solid gold root beer? The fee is fifty dollars for a review. He shortchanged me, and he's asking me, does he get a Ferrari or does he get a Lamborghini? I mean, Jesus Christ! And he sent me a nickel, you know, to ask the question. And I said, you know, I don't think you really should be buying it if money is that tight. Don't do it. Don't do it. Poor Silesius, five dollars. Just want to say you are a bunch of cool fikers, crew. You betcha. I tell you what, that second show part made me a bit angry. It's like, you know, your mum has snuck some vegetables into the pie. You think, oh, that was okay. Then she makes a veggie pie. No, I didn't say you could make a veggie pie. It was okay. <laughs> and then when you snuck a bit in, when you blended it up so we didn't know what it was. But I didn't mean for you to just make vegetable. You know, do, do you nice get a lot of return? Do you get oh, a lot of return, good... like return Sorry? emails, like after you do an like a a review, and like you blow oh, up people on people get them upset. And feedback, like do they? <laughs> they get upset. Oh, they do really? get upset. They do, they do. But what am I supposed to do? You know, do you tell the, the truth? truth? Yeah. Here we go. Leo C two dollars best material for a men's LV bifold wallet. I gotta be honest with you. You know what? Google Pay. You don't need to have a. You don't need to have a wallet. That's so nineties, man. My wallet is old and it's broken, and but it's. I kind of like the character it has on it. So I gotta say, you know what? If I was getting a new wallet, I'd probably get. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know. Probably I'd get the leather one. Get get a. Tiger, tiger, tiger. <laughs> okay, 
style collector five bucks i gotta be honest with you this is a rolex channel that's right yeah <laughs> i will say i've been wearing i got the three rolexes at the moment i don't know if i'd need anything else they're so wearable they're perfect they are they're in so every wearable. which way every which way but loose mm. Mm. every they time you, you you try to go beyond rolex you feel like oh it's not as good either too expensive so, or it's not yes. as good yeah it's like 100%. got a couple more super chats arch Paul Salisius, $5. I'll make you love liver, Arch. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> That's exactly it. Yes, yes. Liver. You know, you could sneak it in. A bit of, oh, my God. My God. My God. It's Captain. Uh, yeah. Captain has Here one. Here we right? go. Fella, $2. 15300 greatest watch ever, Arch. Type of buyer. I got to tell you, the 15300 is talking the AP Royal Oak. Yeah. This is the captain has one. It is I a think. great watch. Greatest watch ever. No. Kind of no. close. Because it is very flawed. Okay. It's flawed in the sense that it is very delicate. The steel is very scratchy. It's, it's AP. I think the Submariner would get that. The steel's just usability um type of buyer who buys it they are What's very it? expensive very expensive type of buyer depends the age arch yeah look i got a friend young who's got guy, one. right young guy they're a I great watch nice. they, they they are a great watch but i don't think they're the greatest watch ever i think greatest watch ever that's a tricky jeff five bucks because rolex is for winners mm. I, I like rolex it's waterproof automatic that's the key ingredients that have really made it go so well that's right winners 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 winner winner, winner. winner. tim s two dollars which brand is rolex toughest competitor <laughs> very good question i don't think they really have a competitor they are so they are so unique like you would say in the old days you'd say omega but i think rolex is I'm sorry. I love Amiga. I look jokes aside. I do love Amiga. I don't think they're up there. I I would say using that analysis you'd have to say um their greatest their Rolex who which brand is oh jeez. See Breitling? No. For for this among the Swiss watch brands, Omega I think is second in share of uh products. markets that's through the swatch group yeah but that doesn't mean it's the, the... whole swatch group i actually like yeah. cartier arch cartier makes some actually good diversity of, of watches i mean they got i the think Santos, i think the brand the Drive, cartier, i think i think comes the third. yeah they got they got some good watches also i mean they're worth considering you know but what they're I mean? a how brand much? they make everything no, how much are the santos no. those xls what are those they're good but they're actually just... pretty good value yeah the what brand are they? Name is too spread out. It it is. Look, I'm sorry. I think they... they're known for the bracelets for women. The love yes. bracelet. Yeah, the love bracelet. Exactly right. But those yeah. XLs I mean, are pretty cool. They're not. Yeah, they make nice stuff. Really. Arch. I don't know. They're pretty Stephen nice. K. They're them. not waterproof fully, but you know, waterproofing oh, really? with Cardi has always been a big issue. Stephen mm. K. Five new dollars, New Zealand. The guy who said an Explorer Two was nothing has no clue. I tried one on recently, and it was beautifully balanced and very comfortable. Would hundred percent agree, man? I, I, I took, I took great offense to what he said. I did. I didn't. I didn't agree with him. I'm just telling you what he said. I didn't say I agree with him. Right. Beautiful. Look at that. How could you not love that? That is, that is good. The Pine Baron, five bucks time piece gentlemen doesn't honor the archie luxury discount i ask this is a crime well, what there you go that's okay well hmm. it is what it is guys we have can to pay I for say? the new building that's why they need the money the yeah, fit out the fit out the fit uh, hmm. the, the, they're not even buying it they just really? it's a fit out the fit it's out yes yeah. by the it's way I that's what i'm saying guys there's really there's not that much money in flipping watches it's the other things that you can do 
while flipping, right? Selling courses. That's where the money is at. Courses. How to flip watches. Once, that, that you just wait, guys. It's coming. Once, they're they're yeah, coming. Once, once the once the market gets saturated, it's easier to appeal to potential flippers. Man, guys, we should so. we should get on the hype. I should. I should. They've start, already should, got those. The Watch Academy. You seen yeah, that? Yeah, they already have that. Ah! Yeah, yeah. Tim, you're a little that's behind. What, that's what. That's what. Timepiece gentlemen's do. Like, uh, let's, give him, let's give him. Let's give two thousand dollars to get. Gotta do it. How I got started? Blah blah blah. Thousand other people. That. Preferential. We got a couple of super chats, Arch. Preferential pricing. Here, here we go. Juco Ted, five bucks. Sell all the paddock and turn them into one top shelf Rolex. Upsell. Upsell. Actually, I would disagree with this, Duke of Ted. I love the paddocks far more than a, a top market Daytona, like a gold Daytona or something yeah. like that. You can consolidate them into another paddock, maybe, but. Yeah. Like a 51170. Five, Did we say the same one? No. Yeah, points. look, I, I got to be honest with you. The, the, the truth is, I love steel sports Rolex. Steel is just. I love it. You know that? But you There's can consolidate like and upgrade, Arch. Just one one good paddock and then use the rest of the money to get a nice car or something like that, you know? I, I like having a beater as a car. I like having, you so know, then, I like going to Lowe's for my clothing. Okay? So then wait for the share market to tank and buy a, buy it a, buy some Bitcoin, Arch. Buy some Bitcoin. Poor Silesius, $5 for dope, Rolex is for closers. That's why I love Chopard. There you go. He's so cool. Right, Show is a great watch, especially the LUC, because he has mostly LUC stuff. Yes. They're LUC expensive. Show you know that? is excellent. It's excellent, Arch. I mean, in terms of the horology, some of the best value on the market, probably. Mm. Probably the best. Arguably the best. Yes. The Pine Baron, $5. Timepiece gentlemen said they would charge me extra for Archie mentioned, then they retracted. Hey, they're joking with you, man. <laughs> nice. Look, it is what so it good. is. It is what it is, you know? That's so funny. Imagine. <laughs> Here we go. The Pine Baron, five bucks. Oh, yeah, we did that one. And then we got Theodore Langmeyer, three dollars. Hey, Archie. Hey, Theodore. And here we go. Thanks, 1138C, five bucks. Keep the World Timer and the Calatrava paddocks are wonderful. Actually, you know what? It's funny you say this because I the two paddocks that I probably liked the most was the ones I had not so long ago. Mm. World Time and the 5296. You remember the white gold 529? That was probably <laughs> all I needed. Oh, yeah. You know what Arch, I mean? How's Rich Buddy doing, Arch? I feel for him. Bitcoin is down 25% over the last month. Yep. It's a rough Ooh. one. Okay. It's Bitcoin he's somewhere, is he's somewhere screaming at someone right now. Wait, apparently it just fell 20% right now? Hold on. Are we talking? Are you wrong? telling me crypto crap is a scam? Ooh. What's wrong? You make, a mark, a you make me a Marco. You make me a moderator yeah, right now. Or I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. ass. I kick your fucking ass. That's probably gonna be one of the greatest lines in Archie history. This <laughs> to ever happen oh, it, on. It stream. is down. It's down. Shit. What the hell's happened? It was gone crazy, but it's, it's still. As though it's not Ooh! backed by anything, and people are realizing it. It's happening. Why is Damn. Why is Dogecoin crashing too? Hey. It's almost like this? it's gambling guys who would have ever seen this coming? it's still like forty-eight thousand us by way, dollars by the way we, we by got the a couple way. more super chats it's yeah. still got another charge in it you'll see it uh elon musk all these fighters they will come out and and tell people to to pump 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 it up get it to a thousand we'll paul see. paul Silesios. here we go archie auction that scratchy device it's actually really good you know that you you put it down your back <laughs> ah, it feels good, feels good, feels good, feels good. Archie, auction that scratchy, scratchy device for the LV box. I'm actually got a separate bank account. Anyone who donates, I am putting the money into a separate account, and I will slowly... Yeah, but don't super chat, guys. If you want to contribute to the LV box fund, send him a PayPal instead, because he gets the full whack. 
Oh, to... Super Chat's okay. Super Chat's Yeah, but YouTube okay. takes 40% plus they, re they take out for taxes. They don't take that much. They don't take that much. They don't take the taxes out because I've got a exemption foreign. Okay. But anyhow, it doesn't matter. Ooh. Matthew Egan, $2. Got a date like... just 41 and a date sub 41. Two piece. Perfect. Abs what, you get two tone or steel date just. Don't know. It doesn't matter. Absolutely perfect. That's all you need, man. You'd I need think he got the date sub oh. actually very recently. So congrats yeah. to Matthew. Congrats. Yeah. That's a great, that's a great, you know what? A date just and a sub. What? Well, you don't need anything else. I tell that's you, honestly, perfect. dress watches are dead. You heard the bear. Ah, they're dead. They're dead. They're dead. Yeah. They're dead. Do you consider the date just 41 a dress watch though, Arch? Uh, I don't know if Arch, Arch, let's get these next few super chats. Okay. The Pine Baron, $5. Thoughts on the paddock. World time, 5230G. Absolutely. Amazing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, expensive, but one expensive. of the most beautiful world times ever made. Mm. They're all exactly, exactly. I, you see that I one really that... Like, for the same money, Arch. I think it's almost the same money. I would get the five one one zero P. It's got that guilloche blue. I'll yes. pull it up in a second, just because we got a big super chat. Paul Silesius. Ooh, hold on, first we have to do Tim. Mm. Tim S. Tim S. Tim S. Tim S. Tim S. I got it on the screen. Tim S, two dollars. Ellen said. Elaine said. Elon said. Tells Tesla no longer accepting Bitcoin today. I think they're going to Dogecoin. Dogecoin, <laughs> and then Paul Silesius. No. Paul Silesius, fifty dollars. No, Here it is, Arch. Buy no, that Viking box. It, yeah. Thank you so much. Wait, is David S W still accepting uh, Bitcoin? Uh, yeah, like it's fallen but, a little bit. It hasn't fallen that much. Let's be honest. It's still fifty thousand dollars. It's a down fifteen percent in twenty four hours. Mark. That's a lot. Uh, it, 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 the, the market's edgy. Okay, green. Thank you again. Thank you again to Paul. Oh, Paul, that is amazing. Thank you so much, Paul. What we a appreciate cool that. Watches twenty four five bucks. Effective today, Pontiff. You and I are Z Blue brothers. Love it. You betcha. I love the Z Blue. The Z Blue right. is an amazing Incredible. watch. Beautiful watch. He, he showed us a beautiful video. Awesome. Mm. Congratulations. It an, it's an amazing piece. That is oh, a... No, we lost Burbing <gasps> He'll be back. I'll put the link in the chat. Yeah. I got to tell you guys, the... Um... I'm just going to make a note of that now. I'm going to make a note there. Paul Silesius, 50 for the box, okay? Any other box mm -hmm. ones there, uh, Marco? Uh, no, no, that's the only one. Paul Silesius, 50 bucks for LV box, okay? How, how much How much people have to donate to get their name engraved on the bottom of the box or on the top of the box? You know, actually, I was actually thinking about that. Don't I engrave thinking... names. No, they well, paint it. They, they paint it on. They, they paint, paint it on. They yeah. paint it on. Yes. Yes. You can pick. I will tell you this now. Two and a half thousand. Mm -hmm. And you can have your colors and your choice of graphics. There you go. There you go. There you go. Forever. That's a better better investment than putting it into what's his name's shop fit out. Yeah. Let's get this last super chat very quickly. Oh, we got yes. one more. Theodore Langmeyer, five dollars. Give my boy Matthew Egan a shout out. He right. finally got a sub mariner. Congratulations. He's the one who just super chatted, right? The day yeah, just in the sub. He's very Congrats cool. to you, man. Very, very cool there, man. Paul Silesius, five dollars. Let's help our pontiff to get that dream box. He deserves it. Let's go. Fires. I got Large. to tell you. What would you do? Fifty two thirty or the five one one zero? Ah, no question. Five one one zero. Isn't this unbelievable? No, it's platinum. It's platinum. That's fuck. Our and I can't stop looking at this. You know who has a five one one zero P? By the way, right? Who's that? Our good friend Paul Silesius. Paul Silesius and my the, <laughs> and my good friend the super collector's got one too. Amazing. And he's got a five one zero seven. Just beautiful arch. Oh my goodness. No, he's got a five five one zero seven. And he's got a five one seventy two. The yeah, syringe hands chronograph. Arch, the case on that is incredible. The lugs, the triple step yes, lugs. Yes, the sculpture, the sides. Oh, my God. And it's got the box sapphire crystal, so it looks like it's acrylic. It's unbelievable, Arch. It's yes. probably the nicest hmm. modern manual wine. Uh, manual I got to say, this, this, we got our man. Um, 
MJT. G'day. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. And he's a great. You know, I've actually been dropping his name in a lot of vids I've been making. Because mm. so I talk about my collection and I say, hey, MJT got it for me. Mm. I give him a lot of kudos just so he can, you know. He's the man arch. I don't know what happened to Tony Nick. I was hoping to say hello to Tony, but he seems to have gone underground mm. for a bit but that's okay hey man it's okay we, we we respect your privacy sometimes the whole what space gets a bit noisy you know mm -hmm. reg five dollars as much as i think there are better uses for the money the pontiff gets what the pontiff wants hashtag lv box for pontiff there i'll go. write that down now as well five dollars okay thank you every penny counts every penny counts yeah, of course reg I got to tell you, man, it's, it's, it's very, very, um, very, very humbling. Okay. Humbling. I got to tell you, honestly, I think these luxury goods don't ever lose sight of steel sports Rolex. Don't ever think it's not good enough. This Instagram crowd, they got the Daytona, the, the John Meyer, you know, got the, the mm. da, 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 da. you know what? A normal person cannot get steel sub. You can't. Bruce Wayne, man, man how, how how is the relationship with the AD working for you, Marco? It's shit. They couldn't even get me a fucking crummy I fucking got, Explorer one. The fucking the asshole. Nothing. Nothing. Not nothing. even a crummy Explorer. Uh, now tell me this, Marco. Would you really, if you if say you weren't on the show, you weren't famous, <laughs> right? A 10th rate celebrity. Yes, yeah. Do you think Rolex would have pissed you off by now? If you didn't own these pieces, like, would you just be angry? Yeah, How probably own you... one and done. One and done. That's it. I'd probably just get like... No, but probably... if you weren't famous, see, you wouldn't have even got that because that was Bear's contact that got you the, that watch. Hmm. I mean, so I what I'm saying is, Rolex would you be angry? Would you be angry at Rolex? How would you feel? I'd be pissed. Mm. Aren't you kidding? Art, and how about you, Birmingham? Sub, I'm going to flick it as far as I can for profit until the AD. No, I'm just kidding. Mm. <laughs> I'm how about just you, Bur Hard? What about you? Would you be upset at the brand? How do you feel about it? Like, like you've got a few nice watches. I've got how would my, you feel if you were starting out now? My, you really my wanted one. Tudor's the only one from the, the AD that I've, mm. I've picked up. My Rolexes are both mm. both from uh, from friends. Wow. Yeah. So from buying them secondhand off people I know. <laughs> so, if one of your friends asked to buy it back, he said, look, I'd really, really want that back. Can you please sell it to me? What would you say? Ooh. No, they wouldn't do that. If they, they did, would, just hypothetically. Do. do I know you? Because <laughs> we can, we could ring him and just see. No, these are, these are friends that like, that like have, have like a side business of, of flipping watches. So they, they know, they know the game. They're not like okay. emotionally attached to, you can't get high on your own supply arch. Yeah. Hmm. So true. You can't be emotionally attached to supply. Yeah. Not, not, not if you're a flipper. There's no, there's no love there. So sad. That's mm. so sad. By the way, they will never feel the kind of joy that well, we I'm feel just, wearing I'm our watch. Something from. I feel bad for these Paul. flippers. Would you go into consulting, Mark? I wanted to ask you, you. You're a young student. I watched a video about a guy who worked for. JP Morgan as an investment analyst. Or what he what he spent? What he spent. And what he earned. He earned 150. He got 80,000, 85,000 base salary and he got a 70,000 bonus. Wow. Would would you but he said you actually have to work like 100 hours a week. He said, "Yes, you're earning good money." Right. But he said when the, you actually the do longest, the per hour salary. The longest not, he's been there a... is he went in at nine. He had 28 hours in a row. He stayed at work for 28 hours. Mm. I've never done that, but I've done, I've done a lot. Like I've done like a 7 to 11 p.m. once. Would That's... you want to work for someone like J.P. Morgan? <clears throat> Chase, J.P. Morgan? Oh, I did it once. Like I did I did a, a bank banking once, Arch. And I had to be honest with you. It's a lot of grunt work starting out, and I don't know if I want to do that grunt work again. I mean, I I could do it, but it's like, oh fuck me, dad! It's it's uh, it's hard, Arch. It's hard. Mm. But it's easier with Rolex. Matthew Egan, Rolex men do 
what others won't. Yeah, I mean, I could probably Matthew Egan, sure. five bucks. Yeah. Date just forty one. Stainless steel with fluted bezel. Sub date stainless steel. Both from different ads. Persistence and relationships truly work. Don't hate Rolex. Get patience. So true. <clears throat> Thank Look you. That Thank you. You know who this is from? Our good friend, Paul. Ah, oh, Paul. He just sent me this picture. Paul Celestia. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. With the coffee? The coffee. I like. Is that strap is interesting. It's got the white stitching. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Theodore Langmeyer, $3. How bad do you smell? I actually smell amazing. So I had Alfred Dunhill red deodorant. Mm -hmm. And I've actually sprayed on. Eve sent Lauren jazz. So don't rub right. it. Just spray it on. Let it sit. Is that right, Tim? Oh, yeah. my goodness. Oh! Let's get this super chat very quickly. Woo! Okay. Alfredo CJC, $50 Mexican. Sell 3738-100J for the new Kermit. That's a paddock reference, isn't it? What's a 3738? Uh, no idea. 3738. Let's see It is, it is. It is. Oh, it's the golden ellipse. You don't have the golden ellipse. Wow. Uh, it, look, yeah, if, if you don't want it, sure. But, you know, some of those paddocks, they're not there to be flipped. That They're, they're actually, the ellipses are kind of, I like them. I like them. They're uh, an acquired taste. I don't love it, Arch. I would sell it for a hermit, just my opinion. And now, the super chat to end all super chats. Paul Silesius, 100. Legend. Red for Cardinal Marco. Here is another wow. donation for the LV bot. Thank you, wow. Paul. You are... Paul is such a nice guy. Me and him have been DMing on Instagram. It's very dangerous, I got to tell you. He's giving me too many good watch ideas. Or too many. Yes. I need to get three, four, five, six, and seven jobs. It's too, it's too much. He's giving me too many good watch suggestions. But you oh, know what? Sometimes... Sometimes it's better just to be happy with what you've got. No, but it's fun just like going back and forth. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just I, I you know when you see somebody who's as enthusiastic as you are, it's just. <clears throat> He's very enthusiastic. I actually cool. met him. Paul's just a He's... cool guy. He is very cool. He loves his paddock, Philippe. I mean, he's not. Look, he's not poor. Okay, let's not be let's not be pushing the the violin here. But <laughs> he he's not super rich. He's just got a normal. Oh, job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is getting crazy, guys. You know, this guys, this is this is a game that I like to play on the channel, guys. You're you're ahead. You haven't won yet, but you're ahead. We appreciate yeah, gotta... you, Duco Ted. We really do appreciate it. That's amazing. That is. Absolutely... We hope that you get the Bruce Wayne. They better give you that Viking Bruce yeah. Wayne. Yeah, mm. yeah. I gotta tell you, man. Seriously, what a. Just hang on one tick there. Mm. Wow. Jesus. Wow. Thank you again. That's insane. What a cool guy. Arch deserves it. Yeah. I if, mean... if we can do anything, getting him an LV box would be so cool. Out of all the people. Right, I think LV was what started one. it all. It's just if it wasn't the love for LV, I think he wouldn't have gotten into watches, and then we wouldn't have gotten the advice from him. So it's just it's cool. It's so cool. MJT twenty three bucks. Everyone on the panel thought thoughts on the KC Joker watch as a fun piece in a ten piece collection. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of it. Bring it up, it's, Marco. What yeah, do you got, think? It's, it's fun, Arch. I mean, listen, it's actually a great watch itself. Like, the eyes and uh, tongue will never match up twice. Ah, you know, exactly. Over a 24-hour period, which is pretty cool. But, I mean, it's just they're a expensive. fun piece. How much yeah, are these cheap at all, though? Yeah, they're not cheap. Hold on. Let's see if I can mm. get a good picture. You got a nice, intricate guillotine pattern. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, it's really fun, that's for sure. Yes. And Constant Chiakin is a legit watchmaker. He's a, an amazing watchmaker. Mm. Would you get it, though, Arch? 
Uh, in a 10 piece collection, I don't think so. There's too many great no, watches to buy. There's too many amazing. We just got another super chat here from Toyota Mo. Oh my goodness. Let's just. Toyota Mo. $50. My God. Another $50 go. for the box. Hey, that's what, the box. What's... Arch, when's your birthday? What are we again? up to? <laughs> October. It's October 23rd. October oh, 23rd. October 23rd. Look. I gotta tell you seriously, I um. He says it's be, funky. It's funky. Be brutal, it's, Arch. If be it's brutal. shit, let me know. No, no it's a great watch, <clears throat> and a ten piece collection doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. The problem is with ten piece. You gotta try and divide it up. Like, what would you have? Mm -hmm. Like, my good friend MJT, he likes gold watches, mm. so I kind of think he's got once a couple Padex couple rolex he's a very much a fan of paddock and uh, rolex loves the rolex and rolex. Uh, he's got a panda i think he's got a panda see there's so many amazing pieces but you know what if it makes you smile do it it's mm. sometimes that's the whole point in life it's just doing something crazy you know i, I could I could see. I, I don't know if MJT plays like high stakes poker or not. Mm -hmm. Like, that's why I could see. This it. is the thing. I've got a Honda Civic, right? Which has got one hundred and ninety six thousand kilometers on it, mm. and I I banged into the fence and brick wall at my brother's place of work. <laughs> Jesus! I, I, and I and I drove past there yesterday just to see if the the walls damaged. The walls okay? Because you know I don't want to pay in for the wall. It's just got some blue marks on it. That's from my Honda. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I just want to go through these these super chats yeah, one sorry. last time. So thank Pause. you, Paul. We appreciate. No, just to go through them one. So sure, let's hundred percent mark a hundred percent, Paul. Mm. That is really really generous. No, I came back with another hundred. Hundred dollars, Paul Silesius. I mean, that is man, man. That is just and then incredible. We Duco Ted, we love you. We really, really love you. Mm. And man, that is that is so nice of you to do that, man. It really mm. is nice. It's yeah, and beautiful. really hope you get all the Rolexes from your AD you're looking to get, man. Exactly. Mm. These ADs are mean and nasty. MJT chimed it. This is nothing yeah. to spit at either. Twenty three bucks. Everyone on the panel mm. thought Yeah, exactly. That's that's a fan. MJT's done so much for me. He's done so much for Marco. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, got he's got his money now. He would have his money. He got his money yeah, now. Yeah, he's, he? got, he's got yeah, his yeah, money. He's Beautiful. Toyota Mo. Toyota Mo's done so much for me. You know, he's incredible. Ta Toyota. He's Mo. the only one who done it to that GoFundMe art. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Yes. Oh, yes. That he, was brutal. He did. He did. Um, I, I got to tell you guys. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I, I do but, want to say this to you. I, I look at these luxury goods and it's so easy to get so caught up if MJT, Birbinghard, my thoughts, exactly. Just not that high stakes, ha ha. I got to tell you, seriously, you don't want to ever forget Rolex is amazing. Steel, I, I, you know what? Even the tutors, the tuner, I love. I don't know about you, Birbinghard, but I love putting on the tuner sometimes you got the 58 didn't you yeah Take, takes a beating though i think i should have gone for the 58 the the 41's just it's not the length the the, the diameter that is makes it chunky it's just the height of the damn thing yeah. Yeah. You, you know it's, it's so it's thick. thick yeah and but that's kind of i don't know i don't know i think i just stay with it you know i don't want to muck around um but i gotta tell you you gotta be grateful consolidate and upgrade arch lv is only eight spots it's only eight spots gotta you make know, them count i gotta but be yeah. honest i gotta be honest with you man i think i think uh 10 is more than enough i seriously i look different people have different numbers what do you think marco well, well it depends on your luck in life if things go really well 20 yeah. 50. well Tim, you need it as far as part of your business also it's a little different right 
Yeah. You need you need because yeah. you need content, Arch. Otherwise, you run out of content very quickly. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I can't get excited about a watch unless I own it. Right. You, you know, like I mean, I can't talk about shooters if I don't own one. I like to bring it out and touch it. And I, I must say, I won't sell the seat. The Speedmaster. Jokes aside, the Speedmaster. I've been there so many times. When I own it, I look at the flaws. Then when I sell it, I miss it so much. And I prefer the Speedmaster to the Breguet. As far as, I'm not saying it's a better watch. I didn't say that. But just my, if I had a choice, the Breguet is very conservative, Marco. It's got those lugs. It's very... I'm like you, Arch. I don't love chronographs. I got to be honest with you. Like the only one I like is the Type Twenty, and even at that, I'm not enough to buy it. You know, I and like the know, Zenith I, El Primero as well. I must but. confess with you, with these chronographs, I tell you honestly, you know the pushes. Right. I've tested pushes on so many of these, right? Hmm. And I got to say, the absolute best pushes. Longer. Longer, 1815. And also, Tony Nico had the 5170. Those, yeah, those are beautiful are as well. Yeah. They're not quite as good as the Lange, but. No, they're I'm, not. I'm, I'm sorry known to say. The best. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. known as the best. The Lange is like putting a knife, hot knife through butter. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. Even and the longer one, when you do the day change. I got to tell you, the Breguet close. ones were actually pretty awful. On the Type 20, they were pretty. Well, so isn't it a lateral clutch? It's not even a column wheel, right? Exactly. Lateral exactly. clutch. Dan T, five bucks. AD Games update. Asked for the blue OP, and they counted with a two-tone. Jubilee Datejust, that's in stock. Fike me dead. Mm, that's how it goes. I don't. I don't mind the two tone date chest. I don't think it's chopped liver. It's actually a nice watch. It's, um, it's. Oh, what a su super chat! Paul Silesius, five dollars. Arch five one seven two is like butter because <laughs> yeah, he's got I mean, that probably, syringe hands. Right. That's probably the newest update. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's possible. I, I haven't actually touched The only one. thing is, I think that it gives longer the edge also is, you know, the, the style of pusher is a little bit wider, or it's a little longer, excuse me. So you have a lot more surface area to push versus the mm -hmm. the circular pushers. Because I find the Speedmaster actually quite difficult to engage the pusher. I don't know. Interestingly when enough, wrist, when there was a wrist. Houdinki article, and they had Jack Forrester there. And apparently, Vacheron said the reason we make our pushes hard to press is so you don't half press them. You've got to really press right. them. That was their logic. I don't. I don't. It sounds like bullshit to me. That's but what they said after the fact. That's kind of what Vacheron said. That's what Jack Foster, when he asked them about it, that's what they how they explained it. And I. I don't know. I don't know if that is true. They're trying to make it so you can't half press it. MJT fifteen dollars. The loyal supporter CB has kindly put his his this Joker watch in my mind. Plus, it gives me a good excuse to travel to Moscow for the first time. I hear the scenery is amazing. Enough said. I got to be honest with you. With Moscow, I've been to Ukraine. Ooh. And I got to be honest with you, MJT. If I look, the countryside is beautiful, but. I just all I can say to you, MJT is communism does not work. And then <laughs> they tried to bring in capitalism and it's kind of they needed to do it slowly. You just don't bring out you just don't bring out capitalism in one hit. You gotta what they've got now is sort of a mafia run state. Okay? And I got to be honest with you, I never been to Moscow. I went to Ukraine. I went to Kiev, Lufov, and I, the city I went to. Listen to this, Tim. Nedoprodzhinsk. Uh -oh. Nedoprodzhinsk. <laughs> That's the well, city. Nedoprodzhinsk. 
That's the city I went to, Nedoprodojinsk. And you have those nine-story buildings, you know, those prefab. Like from There's, concrete, concrete. Yeah, yeah. And and they're a bit... Um, Edgy. They're a bit... How do you put it? I'm trying to explain it. They're a bit <laughs> awful. Soviet... <laughs> Soviet, eighty percent of people in Moscow live in an apartment. By the way, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's interesting. Mm. Moscow, I, think, I, think... I was there for six weeks. I went there for six weeks in the nineties. This was actually Princess Diana died because just the next day we left for the airport, or it might have been the same day. It was coming through on the news. You know when. Princess Diana had that automobile accident. Yeah. And yeah, we went to the next day, we went to Ukraine. Mm. And we flew Lufthansa. I flew Lufthansa. We went Brisbane to Singapore. That was Qantas. Mm. I can't and then think MJT is a fan of the countryside. <laughs> okay. Arch, fight the countryside. Okay. <laughs> countryside is amazing. They've got. They got fields of sunflowers, see, yep. sunflowers. It's amazing. Never seen anything like okay. it. It's not to say that the watch is and bad. The or... scariest thing I've ever seen is a toilet in a Soviet train. You've never Ooh. seen a toilet. That is the most disgusting thing I have ever seen in my life is the toilet in a Soviet train. Even the... Even, you know, it's just scary. I, I felt bad for my waist, okay? <laughs> okay? That's how... That's, Did you squat it, down? It's or actually... It's just a hole. It's, a, it's just oh, disgusting. Cool. No, it's just... Okay, it's Soviet moving on, moving on. industrial horrible. Paul Silesius, $5. PP chronos are as soft as a fried liver arch. <laughs> there you go. Soft as a fried liver. Fried there liver. we go. We love guys, we've got nine minutes in today's show before we wrap up. And I want to say, guys, you really thank you so much for the contributions to the box. I gotta to be totally so honest cool. with you. James actually got me excited about the box. Mm. And I I will be totally honest with no you. No credit to me. Yeah, you, you got me too. Yes, you did. I got you started. Yeah. Movie star. I wanted to be a movie star, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And you, then Birminghard and Marco and JJ said, Don't get the, the wolf, <laughs> get the report. Was and I, wanted to... ow, ow, ow! And I said the report, get the report. And it's a good middle ground. Or the, or the I, or... I got to be honest with you. I do actually like the wolf. N jokes the aside. I, big news, guys. Let's be honest. I act By the way, I sold one of my... Um, you know the Skeleto del Tempo boxes. You know that black one. That's good. Wow. How many? Yeah. Keep I got sold it for three fifty US. I got to ship awesome. it to. Yeah, because I got to be honest with you, that box is useless. <laughs> you know that absolutely useless. Keep selling them, March. Keep selling them. I've only March. got one left. I I got I got the brown one left, which is kind of. You can What's travel the final with it's. <laughs> it's it's so fun but it's expensive it it almost is like an fu watch like the people Look, that i've seen wearing them it's kind of like yeah but there's better fu watch i i think cool. realistically i think if you've got 10 i wouldn't waste a spot to get this correct and anyhow if he's got yeah if he's got 10 he needs 10 in the box and one on the wrist no no just 10. i think Look, it is cool. I think if you had 20, if you had 20, yes. If you had 20 pieces, yes, but not at 10. Does that make sense? Right. 100%. Burbing hard. I got so anyhow with this LV box, I thought about it. You know what? It's expensive. I rang LV. I said, "Can you send No, they can't. I have to pay for oh, just I just thought, you know what? Just forget it." So I tried to actually get away from it. This LV box, right? Cuz I I it's a lot of money, okay? It's haunting you though. And then, look, I'm, I've got a separate bank account. I will s save slowly because I've got to be totally honest with you. Wait, does your wife know about the second bank account, or this is no, no? It's, it's actually it's an it's it's a sub account in my bank. It's it, it's you can have a sub account. It's an electronic. It's an e account. It's an e. It doesn't have. It's a. 
it, it lets you make these. But I just trying to say to you, the thing is, I didn't. I was going to back out of getting it because it's it's a, it's it's a, it's a, it's not a waste of money. It is still holds its value, but I didn't want to put my luxury money there because it's so expensive. Do, do you understand? So expensive. Does that yeah. concept I mean, mean the anything price to you? Yeah, I mean, it's the cost of a cost of a Rolex. Like it's the cost of a car. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay. Let's be honest, okay? Well, it's better than a car, which I would get the LV box over a car. I wouldn't get over no, Rolex. No, but... Yeah, look, the thi- car, yeah, look, the thing is, what I'm trying to say is, is it really worth... I mean, if you had a choice of an Air King or that box, what would you take? There. A new Air King. Oh, Air, King. Yeah. Air King. Air King, Air King. But yeah, you but know what? the show, Arch, you're, you're Archie Luxury. You can't have a... Oh, oh, oh! Ah, oh. <laughs> a wolf box. Yeah, yeah. I is the say, LV going to sit in the bank? Is the LV going to sit in the bank? It won't fit. I'll, just, I'll have it at home. I'll, I'll just I'll just bring it out all the time, you know. Paul Silesius, $5. Arch, life is short. You know what? That is so damn true. I got to tell you, you got to be a little bit sensible, but it's true, isn't it? Life is so short. 100%. Life, like we, we think, you know, this is the thing, you know, with those paddocks I've got there, you're going to wear them for a rainy day. You're going to wear them once I, I don't know what excuse I'm waiting for, right? But maybe sell two off and get an amazing Rolex or. A car. I think, Arch, you need a car. Uh, you need a bit of balance. Forget the car. Forget, I don't, forget cars. I tell you, honestly, a, you know what? Get a motorcycle. I think you know what I don't like about cars? Is the fact that it's not just buying the car like you can buy a secondhand bmw or a mercedes the upkeep is horrendous my servicing on the civic is 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 like a hundred two hundred three hundred dollars for a service i think shit that's expensive you're not going to get that on a a europe european cars are made to last a hundred thousand miles yeah, I agree, Arch. Don't you, get the yeah, car. Yeah, I'm serious. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I, cars. Look, you know what? Just because I like cars doesn't. It's just like I like fragrances doesn't mean I have to go and buy Creed. But what other Rolex would you get, Arch? What other Rolex would you get? I gotta get the Pepsi's coming. The Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi. Okay, and then what else? That's it. What else do you want? Well, if you're selling two paddocks, Arch. Uh, look. Uh, I'm going to hold on for a little bit uh, and then I, I want to, I'm thinking, about, I'm just saying to you, I got the three Rolex out. I, I love them. I love the Rolex. You understand that? Like if you wear a suit, even if you're Maybe getting keep, married, keep the Explorer too, then. then keep the Explorer too. Marco, if you were getting married, could you get married wearing your Bruce Wayne? Of course you would. Two chains have to go with it though. Right. <laughs> Keens, <laughs> Bruce, and that's a that's that's a dress watch. He can have yeah, this. What's wrong with that? I can only imagine the vowels. How, how the vowels. could you not? How Mrs. could you not? So and so, do you take this two chains, Bruce Wayne, to be your lawful husband? <laughs> to walking down the aisle. <laughs> it's the one and only ego double G. <laughs> That's it, man. Here we go. Poor Celestia's five dollars. We were having fun in Singapore, and now. We are fine prisoners. Get that box. Thank you, Paul. I, 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 honestly, I, I will. I will get it as long as it's. Look, <clears throat> I, I'll, I'll keep saving. I am saving. Did I have? Look, we'll try my best. Okay, I will try my Our, best. Yeah. Do you think that as, as the whole uh, the Rona stuff subsides and, and things start opening mm-hmm. up and tourism mm-hmm. and that kind of things that some of the luxury good stuff might get soft. It's just Look, people have money in their uh, board now. And it's like, well, of what are they course, play? of course, it's everything's up in the air. But the thing is, the Chinese, you got to remember, OK, that might be true. But the Chinese, then they're going to be traveling more. The Chinese are driving this market for luxury goods. Yeah. They're trapped in their country. They can't leave China as well. So I kind of think internal demand might go down, but you've got foreigners who are coming overseas say, oh, let's get a Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. And they'll also go to the secondhand ADs, the secondhand dealers, the gray dealers, and snap stock, snap, 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 snap. So I would, wouldn't would be surprised if it 
impossible to get continues. Snafu, situation normal. Here we go. Theodore Langmeyer, five dollars. Shout out to my boys. Uh, yeah, we did that one. Taylor, Taylor with Sonic the Hedgehog watch. Thank you so much. Awesome. Um, Anthony <laughs> Napoletiano, two dollars. Do a live week to week or month to month arch. Do a live week to week. What's live, a live, live, live? Do you live week to week? Oh, I, I <laughs> actually stay high, guys. Actually look, stay high. Look, YOLO. Look, I, I, okay. Let me just tell you this. So, so, so I live. How do I say this? How do I say this? Mm. Impulsively. <laughs> I, I got to be honest with you. I live month hour to month. Hour. My, my, I live. The Minute Google Pay hour comes in. Hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, look. I. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tim is tired. You yeah. can tell oh, Tim is tired. <laughs> yeah, look, you know, I got reserved. Can I tell you this? Can I tell you this? I got reserves, okay? I got reserves. I got a refrigerator full of food. Look at this. Refrigerator full of food. <laughs> so funny. I'm sorry. I don't know what's Look at this. I got this is my reserve. You want to see this? Oh, Look at this. No, <laughs> it's magnum. magnum white. Ooh. Do you have Magnum ice cream? No, we only have Magnum. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just come in the I have other Magnum. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I got reserves. As long as I've got a couple ice creams in the fridge, I'll be fine. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not ashamed to admit it. Guys, make sure to upload. Nothing wrong with a little bit of like, ice cream. Comment and subscribe. Yeah. yeah please okay, guys. GB two dollars. Get a Toyota Four Runner. Actually, we don't. Oh, the Fortuna. They're sixty five thousand dollars in Australia. Great car because they're a four cylinder diesel. Absolutely. I had a friend of mine who had one in in Thailand. Absolutely amazing vehicle. Beautiful. Expensive. Arch, only 50 upvotes. Guys, you got to upvote, upvote, upvote. Okay, got anyone doing a show after this today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll set something up. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Half hour, half hour later. I'll drop the link. I'll drop the link. Hold I'm on. I'm trying to get the second. angle. I try This is hard because it's reverse yeah. of what I'm pointing to. <clears throat> okay, guys. See you tomorrow. I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. <laughs>